last week, I was able to go to my dream city, San Francisco, all thanks to my friend Chloe. So today, I want to share some of the highlights of my trip with you guys. On day one, we had a really delicious breakfast at Plow. It was right before my friend's interview, so we were both really excited. I waited with her before the interview started and then headed back to the hotel to finish up some work. The weather in San Francisco is pretty nice, but it can get chilly at times, so you can't go wrong with a lightweight jacket. Right now, I'm just walking to a Starbucks. It's a five minute walk. And yeah, I got bangs and I hate them. Well, I don't hate them, but uh, I wish I didn't get them. In the afternoon, I went to the Golden Gate Park. There are several smaller exhibits inside the park, and I went to the Japanese tea garden, where I spent the most serene afternoon there. Alright, I got in. It's nine dollars to get in, and let me show you around. The rest of the Golden Gate Park is just as beautiful, so I highly recommend going there just to get away from all the madness in downtown. Hi guys! So today is Thursday and uh, it's my first day, yeah, officially the first day in San Francisco. And right now I'm in the Golden Gate Park, I think. Yeah, it is Golden Gate Park right there the weather is really nice today um, it's kind of chilly but I have my jacket with me and I'll just put it on whenever I get cold um, the temperature in San Francisco is very mild um, a little bit colder than Toronto. Then I took a lift to the Golden Gate Bridge. I was pretty lucky that day because it was totally clear when I went. Because it's very common in San Francisco to be totally foggy to a point where you can't see anything. Like the last day that we went, but I thought that was also pretty cool. In the evening, I met up with my friend again at the marina, where we had an amazing seafood dinner at a restaurant called Skoma. A meal there can definitely leave a dent in the wallet, but no regrets for me. Thank you, sir. 
On the next day, we went to see the Bixby Creek Bridge, which is three hours drive from San Francisco. The bridge was pretty nice, but what was even more impressive to me is that on the way to the Bixby Bridge, you can actually go down to the beaches and see the entire landscape covered by, wait for it, succulents. It was truly a spectacular sight. I wish I had more footage to show you guys, but this is the end of the video. The nature in San Francisco is so stunning, and I would definitely love to come back and visit all the national parks. But on the other hand, it also made me more appreciative of my own city that is Toronto. I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.